We need to recover after that one. All right, Lost Labyrinth Zone Act 3, the underwater maze escape. So we are, oh wow, there we go. Beautiful. Now we are underwater. And you have plenty of air bubbles, which do generate more often than any other game in the series. Beautiful. Oh, okay, wow, that was a nice little strat that I pulled off, but, uh... Beautiful. Here we go. Alright, now the gimmick of the stage is you need to tilt in certain points, so that way this water can flow. The second time you do have to do that, there are spikes on the side, so you do want to be careful. And a bit of a throwback to, um... Uh oh Got the wall here, gotta be careful. Don't wanna get crushed. Oh! Yeah! Basically, he uses the wall from Sonic 3 Hydro City Zone, and I just ended up getting crushed. Because I forgot about that little section there, because most, the, most of the gimmicks and stuff is taken from Sonics 1 and 2. You don't really see much Sonic 3 representation in this episode, I should say. That was just for a ten ring. You know what? That's fine. There we go. Good. Gotta make sure. You uh, look. Oh, hit that. There we go. All right. Now we just want to be quick here. All right. There we go. Screw the one up. We don't really need it, so we are okay there. And believe it or not, I believe the wall rubber bands as well. Yep, sure does. As does a lot of things here. There we go. Got ourselves the invincibility theme and the shield. We are... All we're missing is supersonic, and we would be nuclear sonic, essentially. There we go. Yeah, ooh, nice. Got rid of that orbit out there at the end. There we go. Oh, grab the bubble. Beautiful. Nope. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Nope. It was probably, uh... You know, you know what? I was probably mistaken. There is a little, uh, throwback to Sonic 4, uh, not Sonic 4, to Sonic 1. Where there is an, a small section, that fucking orb not, where there is a small section in which you can uh, get 50 rings. You know, there is a section in Sonic 1 that does that, and I believe in Act 1, if you know what you're doing. And there's also one in Lost Labyrinth as well. That's a bit of a throwback, which is nice. Okay, this section here. You want to turn around like that because you can... There we go. Turn around a little bit. There we go. Turn back and forth. And that was the end of the stage two, so no way I'm getting that now. There we go. Now, in order to complete the rest of the level, you have to hit switches on both sides. So yes, one side. Here's another. Hit both of them. Then you want to go to the right. Go. Wait, wait for a second. Beautiful. And that was the end of the stage. Okay, well, if I do not get a Chaos Emerald in each zone of Mad Gear between, uh, in any of the acts of Mad Gear, then no chance for Supersonic. Oh, well. Trap filled ruins for the Lost Labyrinth boss. And this plays exactly as how you remember in... Whoop, careful. This plays exactly how you remember in Labyrinth Zone of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. However, this has a second half to it. And how many hits you got to hit him with is determined by how many times you hit him here. So, I, so far, I only got him three times. Let's wait for that. Spin. There we go. 
You have to climb your way up. Luckily, though, it is not as dangerous. There we go. That's four. All right. So four more times we need to hit him. Here's the second half of the boss fight where he will summon the walls. And ca encapsulates you in between two walls at first. Depending on where he goes, there are certain patterns in which the walls will move. There we go. That's one. Two. And you can't jump on him like you would in Sonic 1. He has invincibility frames in this particular boss fight for some fucking reason. There we go. Move it. Beautiful. And that takes care of that. So that takes care of Lost Labyrinth Zone. And we are done with that. Just like that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to move into... Well, the second to last zone of the game. Because the zone after Mad Gear... Uh, it's... The zone after Mad Gear, it's a, it's a one-act zone, but we will get there when we get there. We are now in Mad Gear Act 1, Dr. Eggman's secret base, based off of Metropolis Zone of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, with, quite frankly, probably my favorite uh, stage theme of the entire game, because I do love Mad Gear soundtrack. So... It is beautiful, it is, it is you know, in your face, it's direct, it's just... It's just all sorts of, like, mm, so fucking good. So, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, watch out. We got to make sure to hit the springs here. And, of course, you have yourselves the returning enemies of Metropolis. Your shell crackers, your Asterons, the star enemies. And, of course, everyone's favorite enemy of all time, the Slicers. So now we are moving our way, moving ahead, moving fast, making our way through. I do get a sense of speed in this act particularly. Because you're just moving around, the steam is pushing you up. Watch out, don't let the steam hit you. Don't let the steam hit you. Whoa, watch out, there you go. See, the difference between the slicer and this one is that after they throw their slicers at you, they self-destruct. They do not do that in the original Sonic 2. So there, let's grab the shield because if we have any chance of getting the Chaos Emeralds, I need to make sure that I get all of the... Well, never mind. I'll just take the bottom round. Uh, if I have any chance of getting the rest of the Chaos Emeralds, I have to make sure I end the act with all... With 50 rings, if not... Like I said, not the end of the world, but... Um, with episode two, I do kind of want to get all the emeralds there if I can. There we go. Oh, come on. Why you got to ruin that for me, game? All right, spin dash cross. There we go. Beautiful. Watch out. Go to the left here. There we go. And the bubbles were intimidating enemies in Sonic 3, but yet, like I mentioned earlier, they're used as father here, which is kind of sad, actually. <laughs> Beautiful, doing good. Nice, all right, so now we are at the end of the stage here. Oh, wow, watch out. Okay, go, go, go. There we go. So, special stage five coming up. Beautiful. All right. So, now here we go. Special stage five. In the beginning, you have to circle around, collect rings. Ooh, I missed that there. Well, you know what? That's fine. Okay, missed that. No, give me the 10 seconds because I need that. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, careful. Don't want to get stuck on that. Oh, but I missed the timer. Okay, well, no, never mind. I got it back. Got that too, which is good, but I missed that one. Oh, if you, uh, 
take too if you don't turn at the right time you have to go through that which does eat up your time basically the purpose you do not have a lot of time in this stage uh, you start off really slow okay now we have to circle around we need 30 rings which should not be too much of an issue missing four and we just go down the middle here Oh, I missed it. Okay, there we go. Chaos Emerald number five. Five emeralds down. Two emeralds to go with two chances left to obtain them. Dun, 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 dun. Now that I think about it, even if I did obtain all the Chaos Emeralds, I wouldn't be able to show off Super Sonic anyway. So this uh, music track in particular is my favorite of Mad Gear. Escape the Cog Trap. Act two of Mad Gear Zone. This one, and I would say Mad Gear 3 is a second favorite of mine, but the problem with Mad Gear Act 3 is that there is just a bunch of sirens blaring, as you will hear, and it is fucking annoying. But I do love this soundtrack, uh, this stage in particular. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm actually going fast in this level of the game, which Sonic was meant to do. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, Sonic is very slow. Look at him. He walks at first, then he jogs. I don't know why the hell, you know. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Why is Sonic so slow when he bounces off? I'm holding down the button. Whoa, hello. All right. Okay, well. After a while, it will reset, so. Okay. That's, uh, that's good. All right, let's just go ahead and just lock ourselves in. Yeah, see, Sonic is, is, he is going slow in this crap. But as long as you hold left, those slicers will not get you. So you should be A-OK -okay with that. Okay, there we go. Another invincibility. Let's just go ahead and try to speed our way through this. Look at that. See, if I was Super Sonic, this would go by a lot faster. There we go. I think we just solved the puzzle, too. There we go. Move them fast. Of course. There we go. Oh, watch out, watch out. Gotta drop over here. Drop over here. There we go. Turn around, Sonic. Turn left. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Now we have ourselves a bit of a t uh, puzzle here. Base. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright. There we go. Okay, good. Got it. But sadly, I believe that may be the end of our Chaos Emerald run, at least. So, we shall see. But. Ooh. Uh uh. No, we still have 50 rings. We're doing A okay so far. All right, we want to kill that one for sure. Ugh. There we go. Move it, move it, move it. Watch out! Ah, okay, well, you know what? That was the end of the stage right there, most likely. And I end up getting hit by the fucking Asteron. <laughs> All right. How far back are we? Are we able? To get another 50 rings? Probably not. Doesn't look like it. Well, let me go ahead and collect the rings I can. Bam, 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 
Whoa, watch out. Alright, just run up, Sonic. Just run up as fast as you can. That's probably what it should have done in the beginning. Watch out. Jump, jump. Nope, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so no Chaos Emeralds now. No more Supersonic. Oh, well. That means run through Act 3. We run as fast as we can. And we will end the part here. So with that, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous night. Love, peace, and chicken grease to all of the awesome ones out there. May you have yourselves a fabulous night.